Hey, so it is scorching hot, like I can't breathe. And I'm just about to head to my brother's kitchen party. Well, technically my sister-in-law's kitchen party. And I'm going to try and film some of it and explain what is happening along the way in my second edition of what happens at a Zambian kitchen party. This one is actually in Zambia and outdoors, so slightly different. So this is how the kitchen party is set up, outdoors, sun is shining, people still arriving. I'm just gonna go and see if I can recognize some faces. <laughs> okay. And this is where the bride is going to be sitting. And when she comes in. Okay, this is some Familiar faces, say hi. <laughs> There's mom. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Over here, another familiar face. Oh, there's my friend from primary school. <laughs> Hey guys! Now there's my brother. Junior, you have to give, you have to stand up. You have to stand Use it. Come on. You got this, Isiba. Hi! <laughs> you introduce yourself. My name is Chizo Limpo Sichana. Do you actually call yourself Chizo still? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a primary, primary school, school name, name. like Chizo, but well, yeah. her real name is Limpo. Hi, <laughs> nice Hi. to meet you guys. And we're yeah, we're meeting up. We haven't seen each other. In we haven't seen each other since two thousand and when were we in grade two. seven? You know? Two thousand one. We went to grade eight in two thousand and three. <laughs> so the last time we saw each other was two thousand and two. Seventeen years. We haven't seen each other in seventeen years. Um, oh, okay. So she's going to be helping me to capture this moment. Okay. This this event. Okay. She's a pro. Just look at her. Does she no not look problem. like a pro? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So the lady that you see dancing up there with the orange chitenge material and with the black around the waist, that's the matron. So she runs the show and she's basically the one that uh, directs the whole kitchen party. So yeah, you see throughout, you see her um, doing things and dancing and encouraging people to give money and those sorts of things. So yeah. And those are the drummers, they basically set the tone for all the dancing that's going to be happening at the kitchen party, so very important. So, still waiting for the bride to arrive. In the meantime, there's some drums playing. And there are. And basically what happens is you can dance freestyle. That's what everyone's doing. <laughs> That's one of my neighbors, Vanna I literally grew up with her. And yeah, she is just dancing, she's happy. She goes, okay, let's look at her. That's amazing. There's my mom with her Miss Sissy breaking it down. a bride coming in I don't know if you can see that she's covered and she's in the middle with um, her relatives so when she's coming in they do that thing where they lie down on one side and then lie down on the other side again and it's just a show of respect as the bride is coming in different tribes do it differently but that's one way of showing respect it's a pretty skillful thing isn't it and a lovely dress and you gotta crawl up
So those two ladies are going to sit either side of her and basically the songs they're meant to, I don't actually know if this, what's going to happen here, but they're meant to interpret what the songs mean to her and tell her like basically whispering in her this song means this and this song means that or the songs have meanings behind them, so yeah. So we're about to unveil the bride. Oh, and they're paying money to do that. Why do they do that? <laughs> this is the unveiling of the bride. So um, the groom's family have to go and unveil her, make sure she's the one. So these two ladies are going to do that. Yes, it's a lousy one. Next up is the unblocking of the ears, which is done by dancing, obviously, as with everything. So I actually forgot to record that bit properly. <laughs> Sorry. Doing her participation. <laughs> So this is the part where they are asking for wisdom. The bride is asking for wisdom from everyone. And she's, you do that by putting money in the baskets that are going around. So I'll show you in a minute. The bride, she's got her, uh, her hands like um, out open to say she's receiving wisdom. And then these women keep going around with a bag and you put money in it to give you wisdom. So, going round with a bag. Oh, she's not coming to this table yet. Look at that. <laughs> The money. Yeah. That's the important bit. Just yeah. asking for wisdom. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. So you give your wisdom by giving your money. So that's my mom, the game's mom, and um, Ritter's mom, and they've been introduced, and to paraphrase the lady, but it's too difficult to mention <laughs> it. She's basically saying everything that you're enjoying today is because of these two ladies. Yeah, just that's basically. Would you look at that? Food time. Food time. So excited. I'm so excited. So we're queuing for the food. Right. So excited. Yeah, we have the first people, so we won't find the food finished, but well, we won't finish. The lady prayed for it. <laughs> A really nice prayer. Yes, kitchen party prayers. That's another thing we have to address. I didn't film that two, one. Two, three, three. Look at <laughs> Look, you just have to burst out in laughter, like really. I was like, I can. She was, what did she say? Like, I can't even remember now. It's just like, what's happening right now? Is this a prayer or is this like a comedy show? Number three, what's Pelletuna? Good three. 
<laughs> she was addressing the catering staff. She was basically yeah. praying the that the catering staff would give yeah, us two or three drinks, that there would be enough food. Home. Yeah, that was the prayer that we heard before the food being served. So, welcome to kitchen party. Yeah. <laughs> right, get a video of the food once it's actually been served. But for now, it looks <laughs> Yeah. Good food and music because <laughs> Joy Next stop is the entrance of the room We are dancing in the end to a Lozi song And the dance that you see that we're doing with our shoulders Is a typical Lozi style dance And the song that's playing actually in praise of the bride it's like she's singing my my mother has given birth to a beautiful lady a beautiful bride like the maize the good maize the one that grows in the fertile soil with good manure and um, a <laughs> bit of a strange metaphor it's a good thing this is fun this is fun Okay, so now my brother has to unveil the bride. But, you know, it's a kitchen party, so it's not a straightforward matter. He has to put money for each step that's taken. So each time he, like, rolls the chitanga material, he has to put money. He can't just roll it without money yet. So, uh, yeah, lots of change needed. Um, So you have to come with a lot of money here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Well, You should have put my mm, ten more ten watches. You have changed it. That's what I told him yesterday. Not changed. <laughs>
and the bride is returning. They're showing the bride items of the house. So they're showing her what they're used for and explaining So that's the end of the kitchen party. I didn't actually get to film the last three sections or so because it just got dark because everything's running a bit late so I couldn't actually see anything but I think that's probably enough you get the idea and um, it's good fun and exhausting at the same time I'm shattered and it's now time to watch what we're watching Big Brother Big Brother Najao that's what we're watching now and then I'm going to bed because I'm shattered thanks for watching bye